Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss some basic troubleshooting commands in Linux. Okay, so first of all, we'd open up the terminal. So before we start, I want to tell you that uh, watch the video number 35 in which we have discussed important commands like IP space link and the IP space ADDR. These two commands are really important and go check out that video. And uh, we have discussed in the previous video the ping command. In today's video, we are, we are also going to use it because it is an excellent troubleshooting command. So before, you know, before everything, whenever I get to, usually whenever I get to a Linux host, you know, I usually run the command, you name hyphen A. And what this, what this does that it tells you basically the version of Linux that you are on. And once you have done that, now you can move on uh, and you can, you know, uh, perform your troubleshooting command because, you know, because of the version on, you know, across different uh, distributions of Linux, the commands might differ. Okay. But most probably uh, right now, I think these commands are most general ones, which I'm, which I'm going to use. So, you know, don't, do not worry. Rest assured that these commands will work on any Linux distribution. So the first command that we are going to discuss the first troubleshooting command that is ping right so the ping is basically used for network reachability test so if you want to test the network reachability you would write this ping command so let's try to send uh, five requests and we send it to the ip address 8.8.8.8 .8 and now it would send like five requests and uh, you can see that five packets have been transmitted and five has been received and in that whole scenario there is a zero percent packet loss and the average round trip time is almost three three hundred and eleven point six six nine milliseconds which is like really fast so uh we can also uh test the ping command on uh, some ip address where you know there might be a like a like a packet loss or something so this is a this is just a random IP address that I have chosen. So now you can see it is not actually uh, properly working. So I'll press Control C, and you can see that 13 packets have been transmitted, but uh, there is no response. Response: We have received we have received zero packets, and there is a hundred percent packet loss um, in this case. So once we have gone through a ping command. Um, there is another command that I want to discuss is uh, trace route. But before that, uh, let me discuss ping. Uh, ping can also be used with the DNS name as well. So basically, Google.com has some you know some sort of IP address which is here. So it will resolve the IP address and then it will start sending the request. Uh, I'll press Control C. Uh, so now you can see that the uh, 10 packets have been transmitted 9 has been received uh, received and there is a 10% of the packet loss which means 90% positive result or 90% packets have been gained so the average uh, round trip time is 483 milliseconds almost so that is like really fast as well so that's the use of the troubleshooting command ping okay so you can do a lot of uh, things with this and there is another command that you can use which is essentially a uh, trace route okay so basically what it does that trace route um, let me do that for this IP so what it does that it you know trace all the path of the network you know what is happening over here on the network and it displays you each activity on each hop so you can see that it has done 12 hops here and uh, you know we can see that there is one hop which is ninth one where it has not responded but that is okay because we wait for the final uh, you know final result and you can see that it has you know it has shown you all the activity through each and every hop and there are 12 hops in total okay so there is another command that we would troubleshoot command that we would like to discuss which is dig command so let's try digging let's say amazon.com so we have uh, tried to dig amazon.com and you can see that we have uh, 
done one query and we've got three answers here you know so we have got their a column right as well so you know uh, we have got the information and we can use it we can get the message size uh, we we get the name we get the server ip we get the query time and you know all of them are listed right here so you know uh, you can dig deeper even deeper on whatever domain name or whatever uh, website or whatever your requirement is according to that you can use your dig command as well okay so it looks up to the dns record and resolves it and basically displays it so that is the whole uh, you know description of the dig command so there is another command that uh, i would like to discuss with you which is like net stat which basically represents the network uh, statist statistics you can say okay so it displays you all the active sockets and internet connection here you can see you know it has displayed me a long 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 list of um you know everything here you can see if you go on the top like it is long so it has shown the list of the active sockets and internet connection you can see internet connection has been established 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 so it means that these are like the active internet addresses all right so you know i like to use netstat negative l as well if you use that it is going to display you all the programs which are actually currently listening and all the uh, internet uh connections which are listening as well you can see that established and listen you can say that the they are like synonyms okay so these are all the programs which are actually uh listening currently on our system okay so these are the troubleshooting commands that we have uh, discussed i hope you have enjoyed today's video you have learned something new uh this is linux in training course and i will see you in the next video